Quincy, I know on your show you've addressed uh, three guys that you think folks shouldn't quite give up on just yet. Take us through that um, and, and what your thoughts were there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, I think there are some Browns on here that people are going to be quick to give up on. I think one of them was Jordan Elliott, um, who, you know, people are going to be quick to kind of boot on. But I think, hey, you have to consider that if we're going to say coaching was a problem, we have to also consider and extend that grace to the players, where it's like, if coaching was a problem for us watching the product, it probably was a problem for them playing, right? Their development. Um, and Jordan Elliott, he's only known life in the NFL with uh, Joe Woods as his defensive coordinator. And maybe there's something that uh, Jim Schwartz can unlock in him that's going to be fine, that's going to get him up to a better level of player. Nick Harris is another guy that I think can, can step it up um, because he was beating out Ethan Posick in camp. Um, before he got that injury. Now, he's going to be coming off a knee injury. I still would advise drafting center, especially uh, if the center out of Michigan is available in the third round. That brother is really good. Um, but uh, if you just end up with Nick Harris, I think he'll be fine for a year. And I think he could be the starter this year and be fine. I don't think we'll be complaining about it. He probably won't get an extension, but he'll be fine. Um, Harrison Bryan is another one I think is interesting because I think he's finally going to be forced to move into a role that he's going to be more suited for. Because when he came into the league, we saw him as the second tight end and we thought that he would bulk up and be able to become that. But what we found out is that he cannot bulk up. He's going to be this kind of wiry build. That's just who he is is um and that very much limits him when he has to go in like these 13 personnels 12 personnels uh, a lot of the time but if he can get out there and get wide as a tight end instead of having to be an inline blocker or or start with the inline chip i think he's going to be a much better receiver of the football and much more of a useful player and much more in line with what we saw his first training camp where he really turned some eyes versus what we've seen over the last two years so those are guys who are on the verge of almost being out of town that i would say hold up on there might be something there